I made another commercial motion graphics in CapCut. After making videos for Lay's Chips, Nike, and Coca-Cola brands, I created new video for the Heineken drink brand. Let's get started. Open CapCut and import your PNG images. Before we start, we should free layers in Modify to move layers better. Drag the C video into the timeline for the background. Change the ratio to vertical. Scale the video and set the sun at the center of the shot. Then add the table image and put it on the second layer, scaling it and placing it at the bottom of the shot. Next, add the bottles on top of the table. The biggest bottle should be at the center of the shot, and the others should be on the right and left sides. Then select all layers and increase duration. Okay, now for the table. We can change the perspective a little bit. We should turn off uniform scale and adjust the height a bit to get a better view. Because the bottles are at eye level and the table is at a slightly higher level. By changing the height, we can achieve a better perspective and a more standard shot. After that, turn it back on and scale the table again. Now, add the logo to the timeline and move it under the table layer and bottles. Move it to the top of the shot, with the bottles covering a little bit of the words. If you want to work on details, you should move the project view to the right side of the shot to see and speed up your editing. Do this only if you're editing on a vertical project, not horizontal. Now, let's adjust the position a little bit so all the bottles are in one line. For animating, turn off the other layers because first we want to animate the middle bottle. Select the bottle and make keyframes at 2 seconds. Then go to the beginning of the timeline and move it to the right side out of the shot. To avoid changing the height of the bottle because we want to animate the x-axis, we should hold the shift key on the keyboard to lock the movement on the x-axis. Look, no matter how much I try, it's locked on the x-axis. Now, move it out of the shot, and now the keyframe appears. When you're at the first keyframe, it should be blue. Now, change the rotation a little. When it rolls into the shot with a little rotation, it will be more realistic. When you change the rotation, you may see part of the bottle in the corner, so we should move it a little to the right. Let's check the animation. It's very good. Now, right-click on it, choose Show Keyframe Animation to make it smoother and cooler by using Graphs. Just click on the second keyframe and go to the Graphs option and choose Ease Out 3, and do the same process for Rotation 2. And don't change the Y-axis, because we didn't change anything. Okay, then hide the keyframe animation or press Alt and K for the shortcut. And do the same process for the other bottles, and the Heineken can too. Remember, when the first bottle comes into the shot from the right side, the next object should come from the opposite direction. So move the Heineken can under the blue bottle, because it should come from the left side. Turn off the blue bottle layer, and do the same process for animating. Select the first bottle, and go to the second keyframe. Don't move anything and select the Heineken can and now make keyframes for position, size, and rotation. Then go to the beginning of the timeline and move the Heineken can to the left side out of the shot and rotate it to negative degrees a little bit. And right click on it and in show keyframe animation, use Ease Out 3 again. Do the same process for the blue bottle and finally, you should have something like this. But they should come into the shot one by one, not together. For that, we should go 20 frames further. 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Go 20 frames further again and move the blue layer to the current time. Now let's see what we made. Select all layers and cut the extra frames on the right side because 10 seconds is enough for this project. For the logo, we can use animation options. Apply slide up and increase duration to get a slower reveal. And it should stop when the bottle movements are about to end. Let's move the layer to the right side a little bit. 
then increase the duration of the animation again. Before we start the next part, let's remove the movement on the background by using the Stabilize feature. For creating shadows for the bottles, select all bottle layers and create a compound clip. Then duplicate it by holding Alt and then move the layer up. Go to the basic part, rotate 180 degrees and then mirror it. Turn off uniform scale and change the height. Then move it down under the bottle layers. Then move it under the bottles layer. Go to the adjustments layer, curve part, and reduce the brightness of all colors to zero. It becomes completely black. And it's a little too dark and strong for a shadow. Let's reduce the opacity. To make it more realistic like a shadow, we should use some effects. For a soft shadow, the best effect is motion blur because it makes the edges softer. But we should reduce the horizontal number to 52 or 53. After that, add blur to make the edges a little softer and increase the blur to 100. For the top of the shadow, there's a little sharp edge, so we should make it softer by using the mask tool. Then go to the mask part and use a horizontal mask and invert it and increase the feather to 50 and reduce the opacity a little bit. For the background, add a blur effect because our focus should be on the bottles. And reduce the blur a little bit to see the waves better. To make the shot more realistic, let's use a horizontal mask on the wood. Move it to the top of the wood, then invert the mask and increase the feather. Now, behind the bottles is out of focus, like a real camera lens when it has a range for focusing. For the next part, let's cut the logo at second 7 and move it to the top of the layers. But the text comes on the bottle, and we don't want that. First, fix the part of the logo layer that we cut. Then select the logo layer at the top, and go to the mask part, and choose a star mask. Change the size to fit the red star. Now add the green image under the star layer and choose the star mask. Move it under the star and make it small so the red star covers it completely. Then go to the beginning layers. Create a keyframe on the size for both layers. Then go to the time when the video is about to end and zoom out to see the shot better. and increase the size for both layers. If there wasn't any area to scale, just increase the number. Then increase the mask feather to get a soft edge for the logo. Now select the logo layer and create a compound clip. Go to basic and create two keyframes. One of them at the current position and for the second keyframe, Set the logo at the center of the shot. I think it's better if the logo moves from the beginning when the mask reveals it. So move the first keyframe to the left side and move the second keyframe too. Right click on it in Show Keyframe Animation. Use Ease Out 2 for the second keyframe. Let's look at the animation. nice. For color grading, add an adjustment layer on top of the layers and move it under the green layer because I don't want to change the color of the brand. Increase the saturation to 10 to get a warmer shot. Then increase clarity to make the shot more fresh. Then add shadow around the corner with a vignette. Now select the table and increase saturation and clarity again. Play around with highlights and shadows to get darker wood. Just play around with numbers to make the wood more realistic and good looking. Then add shadow around the corner with a vignette. Then move the C video a little to be at the center. Change the blend mode of the logo to screen or brightness to see the sun better. Mm -hmm. 
then move the sea layer and set the sun at the center of the star. You can use filters to get better color grading. I think the salt filter is good. Set the strength at 50. This is before and after using the filter. Let's add some motion blur to the bottles layer to get a smoother animation. Set blur and blend to 50. Wait for the process to be done. And this is before and after using motion blur. Now the animation is smoother. For sound designing, I use a glass cheers sound effect when bottles hit each other. Click on the plus button and add it to the timeline. Decrease the volume because we don't want to break bottles. Now it's better. Then duplicate it because we have two bottles. Then add sea sound with seagulls. Import it into the timeline. Cut the beginning of the sound, increase the fade a little bit to hear the ocean slowly. Cut the end of the sound when the video is going to end, then use fade out too. Add your song. It can be anything. For me, I like a song that starts slowly, and at the end when the logo is revealed, a drum or any instrument hits with the animation of the logo. Here, the song hits with a delay, so we should cut the beginning of the layer a little bit to sync the hit with the animation of logo. Cut the end of the song, then use fade out again. For adding details, let's change the wood perspective a little and scale it. For the end of the video, let's add a light sweep by holding Alt and duplicating the logo. And trim the beginning of the layer to remove keyframes, then make it white by increasing brightness, highlights, and white. After that, go to the mask part and choose a mirror mask. Make it small and increase the feather, but let's increase the brightness a little more to get a stronger light sweep. In curve, move the left part up. Now the light sweep is visible. Sometimes increasing brightness and highlights is enough, Sometimes you should use the curve too. Now animate the position of the mask from left to right. And reduce the distance of the keyframe to get a fast light sweep effect. We made this video for the Heineken drink brand. And if you want to learn more videos like this on CapCut, just watch this playlist. If you found this video helpful, like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. And as always, stay creative. <laughs>